than you And then we'll take it higher Alright, anyway What's up? <laughs> What's up? <laughs> a lot of shit has been going down yesterday, this whole day. My life's been kind of hectic lately, so why not vlog it? My good old friend Chow from high school in Colorado, he's coming to Japan today. He's already here. He's actually been stuck in the airport. I think he just figured out how to take the train out, but I'm kind of worried for him. He doesn't know what he's doing at all here. So, ow, fuck. Okay, so I gotta help him out, but first, I gotta go to the hospital. I'll talk about that later, but crazy night last night, though. I met up with the quesadilla. She just DM'd me. She was like, I'll buy you dinner, and I was like, free meal? All right, bet. We met up in Shibuya. I took her to a ramen place. She paid for me, and we were talking, and I asked her why she's in Japan, and that started this whole conversation, and then... I learned about her. Alright, let me tell you this girl's life. She's a woman from the Philippines. She is a single mother. She has a baby. The father of the baby took advantage of her when she was drunk and, you know, that's where the baby comes from. And he abused her and he doesn't take care of the child. The only reason he hits her up is to ask for money. That was years ago. And the reason she came to Japan is because she was talking to a guy online for over a year and he persuaded her to, you know, come to Japan. And so she got the whole process done and came out to Japan. She comes and he's like touching her feeling her blah blah he's like doing whatever but he basically ends up saying we're just friends and so she's heartbroken and she used all this money she came to japan you know for him and he just says we're just friends on top of that she's a hard-working single mother just taking care of a baby she works at home doing customer service she's that woman that you get mad at every time a product on amazon doesn't work and um, i honestly just felt like so bad because when we were talking at first i remember i messaged her i was like i just want a free meal i mean of course we were gonna meet and then you know get to know each other of course a lot of people that come to tokyo they always ask to hang out with me so if i get a free meal then it's like a reason to hang out with you you know not that i don't like hanging out with you you don't have to give me a free meal to hang out but like i don't know but basically free meal helps right so i just feel terrible like i just saw her as just a person that's just gonna pay for my dinner when she's going through all this i just felt terrible honestly and i told her and she's like you know it's okay like um you know i'm fine I just like helping people. That's that's why I like doing the customer service. Even though people are always mad at her or whatever over the phone, she's she's still she just has to be nice and help people out. I don't even know. I just I felt so bad for like I I felt like I felt stupid, of course, just thinking she was just some free meal. That's it. It's cool though, cause I helped her out with some emotional problems. I think she was able to vent to me about everything, and I was like helping her with like what to do in this whole situation with this guy that she came to see. Gave her a pep talk, just kind of bring up her spirits a little bit. And then I got her boba. So what I'm saying though is um, treat people with kindness, cause you don't you don't know what people are going through. This was a lesson for me because like I wasn't mean or anything, but I really just saw her as nothing more than food. I was hungry, not gonna lie. I just wanted some free food, that's it. But then after I, I was like, what the fuck? Like she's going through all this and I'm just like, pay for my meal. Basically, you don't know what people are going through. So treat people with kindness and respect, even if you don't know them. It was kind of an eye opener for me last night, just hearing your story and everything. And of course we talked about a lot more. There's a lot of details and stuff I didn't tell you, but it's a lot to explain the whole, the whole, her whole story. But uh, basically it's uh. She has a pretty kawaii soul life, you know? Pretty, pretty sad. But I'm glad I was able to help her emotionally. I think I brought her up a little bit. So yeah, it was a good night. <sighs> and then, I don't know, some other shit going on. Yeah, there's a lot of shit going on in my life right now, honestly. But, todiaizu. Let's go to the hospital. I gotta see my grandma. Alright. Okay. I'll go to Sengawa first, look for him, and then, alright. So my grandpa is kind of crazy. So I guess he left the house and apparently like his neighbor said that he had a backpack on. So he's probably trying to go see my grandma in the hospital. But like he's 96. He's not going to make it. He's kind of blind. He could barely walk. Now I got to go to his station and look for him. This is like some emergency rescue mission. All right, I'm in Sengawa now. So I was going to go to Chitose Karasiyama, which is where the hospital is, where my grandma is. But right now I need to look for my grandpa. My mom just called me. We don't know where he is. And I'm the only one that can find him right now so i gotta look for him all right so he has to have taken the bus to come to the station so i'm gonna check the bus stop over there real quick but i don't even think he has money to go on the bus or the train he's so old he probably forgot money i don't even know but damn those were some man titties right there those titties were bigger than my girlfriend's i need to find my old man where is this dude hmm. huh. 
Uh, he's not on the bus. Alright. Let's check the train station. Honestly though, he could have actually been successful in getting on the train and getting to the hospital. But like, I don't even think he knows where the hospital is. I'm gonna just look all over the station and see if he's there. He might be stuck trying to buy tickets or something like that. Yeah, we gotta figure this shit out. Say that again. So he so he helped some older guy to buy ticket to Chitose Karasiyama. Oh yeah, that, that was him then. Yeah, about 15 minutes ago. Okay. So can you go to Chitose Karasiyama? Okay. Yeah, and he's probably at the hospital then. Can you look around and then go to the hospital? Alright, I will. Okay. Arigato. Hi. Okay. Yeah, call me when you get there or when you find. Yeah, I'll keep you updated. Okay, thank right. you. Arigato. Arigato. <laughs> okay, so apparently my grandpa, he went to see my grandma and then he left. So yeah, basically now I gotta go find him. So you're telling me I went to Singapore to find Ojichan. Okay. And then go back to the hospital uh -huh. to get Ojichan. Yeah. And then now I gotta go back to Singapore to get Ojichan. <laughs> what kind of shit? I'll, look for him. I'll find him. Okay. Alright. Yeah, bye bye. bye. Alright, so we're back in Singapore. I'm gonna check the bus stop again. Let's see if he's over here. Alright, he's not here. I'm gonna walk to his house then and uh, hopefully he's there. If he's not, then we're. <laughs> By the way, do you guys like this first person view? This is probably like an FPS to you guys or something without the S. Alright, moment of truth. Let's see if he's home. I get him up again, Lee. Oh, yeah, I don't have the keys. If he's not home, then. Shit. I can't even see from here. Oh, shit. He's not here. Shit. He's really not here. <sighs> Well, shit. Oh my god. Wait a minute. That's the bus. I'm gonna check that bus real quick. He might be on that bus. So I was gonna go back to the station. I was actually gonna go to a supermarket because he could be there. Wait a minute. I just saw an old dude get off. I think he took a left right here. Hold up. Wait. That's not my grandpa. Why is there so many old people? All right, well, he's not at the supermarket. I don't even know where to look. I'm so tired. I've been walking around all day. I have to find him though. Just gotta keep looking. We have a camera at his house so we can see when he's home. So I don't need to go back, but hopefully he didn't like take the wrong train and just end up somewhere else. All right, so my mom called. Looks like my grandpa's back at home, so. I've been running around for like three hours, four hours <laughs> looking for this guy and oh my god, I didn't even need to do anything. My grandpa was probably just chilling. He was probably just walking along, just living his life. He was fine. I'm so tired. All right, but I'm at a bakery now. I'm at La Repas. Got some bread, pretty good bread. So next, I'm gonna meet up with Chow. He was actually in a vlog a year ago. It was my swim vlog. He just came to Japan randomly. It's kind of crazy he's here, but we're gonna meet up. <sighs> All right, so uh, I didn't explain this. A whole lot of shit just went on right now. So I just met up with Chow. If you do remember him, he's from a year ago in the swim vlog. It was a long time ago, and then we with Nazar, mm -hmm. Sora, Michael. We got everyone here. We're gonna hit the studio. We're gonna make a song. We just got some milk tea. And wait, 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 Sora. Is this your first time meeting Nazar? Nah. I met him okay. one other time. How do you feel about Nazar? He told me his name is Josh. Nah, I oh. told, he told your homeboy that his name is Josh. So I'm gonna call him Josh all day. <laughs> okay, okay. Yo, we're in the studio now. Yo, check this out. What the hey, fuck? We're gonna go. make some hits. Let's go! Don't be lit. Lord, Savior, Jesus Christ. I'm Buddha, so I, you know, I fuck with Buddha. I like both, actually. Yeah, but... Buddha, Jesus, it's all Whatever cool, you know? Whatever tickles your peach. Yeah, exactly. Whatever tickles your peach. Credit card that bitch. Where the sticks at, though? <laughs> 
Shall we?